Did you know that once you've seen the light, you can never go back to darkness again? It's true. Once you have seen the light, once you have known His presence, once you have gone to the place of calling upon Jesus, you can't go back. You can't say you hadn't heard. You can't say you didn't believe. You can't say you didn't know. Because the light shined upon you and you beheld it as the only begotten Son of God as the glory of the one who God sent just for you, who spoke to you personally and individually, who came and shared with you the love of God in your heart and touched you in a way no one else has ever touched you before. God gave you His Holy Spirit. God reached out and grasped you and held you in the palm of His hand and said, I have inscribed you. Once you've been in the light, you really can't go back to darkness. Because you see, even when I see the backslidden person, when the person who says, oh, well, I like the darkness and sits in the shadows for a while, he can't help but talk about the light. He says, yeah, I was in the light. I remember that. And you listen to their stories and you see them light up when they talk about the light, the glory of God that filled their soul and expressed that longing in their being to be made complete and whole. You know that they've been touched. You know that they knew. And they just want to come back home again to find that it's true. That they can come back to the light. That they can rejoice in Jesus who is the light of the world. That they can become once again children of the light and not of the darkness. Because as we see the world falling away, we look and we say, Wow, they have no hope. Wow, they're getting worse. Wow, the world really is getting darker and more miserable. But why am I so bright? Why am I so lit up with the hope of my calling? Why am I so found in the fellowship of His saints, even though that some are suffering? Why have I found a place in the grace of God that has been given to me to share and to care and to be there in lighting up the way and the path so others may see it and follow straight and narrow the direction that God has said to go. Why do I choose not to go to the left or the right but listen to God's voice every day to walk in the light? Because it works. Because it causes me to be filled with joy unspeakable because it creates in me a peace oh, that the world cannot give because it allows me to love with a love that passes all understanding oh my God what a glorious thing it is that God brings to each and every one of us as we are his children of the light and children of the day as we are following hard after our father who is in heaven, who is no darkness and no variableness, but is the Father of all light. Oh God, thank you for making us following even he who is the light of the world. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we turn to him, and we cry out to him, and we call upon him, and we look to him as our light to show us the way. They are not of this world, and they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. For the world, and in the world, you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Such a high priest such a high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, that you also may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. God is with you. 
As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. When you hear those words and you think about those thoughts that God has about you, about God has speaking of you, about God declares for you. <laughs> it's hard to be anything but lightened up <laughs> or get lit up by God's Holy Spirit. Because you see, even though the world is passing away and the lust thereof, we're not. We're getting brighter and brighter, moving from glory to glory, from the image of what we were to the image of what we're becoming. Even declaring by our very attitudes, actions, and deeds the work of God who has made us the light of the world. And He is causing us where we're at to shine forth His image, His glory, His light.